chess friends and welcome to Zaro's chess channel and welcome to the computer chess championship season 11 so we are going on to follow this uh, very nice tournament and uh, today i wanted to show you a great game played by lila c0 with the black pieces against this other nice engine stufles in the so-called grub variation so this grub uh, grub variation is really a bs opening sort of uh, don't try it out and uh, in this tournament we have this double round robin but the funny thing is that uh, when uh, these engines are facing each other they play both of their games immediately so one after another and uh, in the game match game between uh, stuflis and lila c0 both of these engines play this really bs opening uh, this grob opening and it's really bad you'll see why and uh, the funny thing is that even lila c0 managed to win the game with the white pieces in this uh, opening but with the black pieces when Stu white sleuthless was playing this very uh, very bad opening lila c0 smashed uh, stufless in 10 moves it's really unbelievable and there is this basic rule about this uh, irregular opening because the grob opening is an irregular opening it's not uh, a good opening so the main idea in these types of lines is to keep a good um, uh, piece activity and have a good development even if you have to lose some pawns even if you have to lose even two or three pawns the piece activity here is the most important thing so let's see now uh, the game and you see now this grub opening be prepared the first move is the move g4 and uh okay i've seen lines now b4 uh, in the first move but uh, g4 is so bad because you have advanced immediately a pawn in front of your king so basically it's very hard for you to castle here kingside and that's why one of the most natural ways is to go d5 and in the game was played g5 but uh, i wanted to show you first the ideas of the grub opening why uh, why would white play such a bad move because in some occasions you can see your opponent try maybe bishop on g2 the idea behind this move is that if you take here bishop on uh, g4 then you don't have any more this protection of this b7 pawn and now white will probably try the move c4 but don't uh, don't be worried so much about this b7 pawn as i said in this irregular opening it's all about uh, peace development and peace activity so here knight on f6 we have queen on b3 we can play e5 we are playing straightforward queen on b7 and now knight from b to d7 we can try maybe here from white's perspective c takes d4 d5 d5 but it's not about uh, pawns as i said it's all about peace activity now maybe to push pawn uh, push the pawn here on e4 restricting the, this knight to come into the game now knight on c3 can be played but again the most uh, active square here is of course the bishop on c5 if your opponent tries knight takes on e4 knight takes bishop takes but now casting so you see we are maybe some pawns down but we have a perfect uh, activity the queen is in danger so we can always kick away the queen uh, get use of the b file we can also get use of the e file and uh, where to castle now from white's perspective if you castle here on the king side then you have the weakness on h2 and if you castle here on the queen side i think you can make some progress here through the b file so maybe your opponent can, can try h3 but bishop on h5 and now after d6 queen on h5 uh, h4 would be the ideal with an attack uh, against this f2 pawn if your tr opponent tries rook on uh, rook on h2 then bishop on d6 attacking the rook and after rook on g2 i think knight on c5 simply wins the game so uh, you see uh, i just wanted to show you one particular line uh, how you should play against this irregular openings as i said memorize this when you're playing against this types of variation peace activity peace activity peace activity so but in the game as i said g5 was played and uh, here e5 um, played by uh, lila c0 and now d4 we have of course e takes d4 knight takes on d4 uh, queen takes on d4 and now knight on c6 attacking the queen the most natural way queen on a4 and now bishop on d7 also uh, a logical move because we have always some discovered attack possibilities on the queen knight on f3 and now bishop on d6 again on the best square on this uh, two diagonals these bishops are really, really dangerous but i hope you realize this discovered attack is always possible so this will be the main tactic motive of lila c zeros in the game so knight on c3 we have bishop on b4 and this is a very interesting uh, move by lila c0 it has sort of a double function because uh, first of all it creates um, this annoying pin but it also closes here uh, this uh, this rank the fourth rank for the queen so the queen would love maybe here to escape uh, here on the square h4 but now it's a little bit too late because uh, here um 
a queen on b5 was played and uh, if you try something like a3 uh, there is a very very interesting uh, tactical motif that uh, lila c0 can play here knight on d4 discover the attack on the queen so you have to take the bishop and now uh, knight takes on c2 with a fork and this will be game over so uh, you can try maybe queen on d7 but again it's not a problem bishop on c3 and again black has a completely winning position here so that's why queen on b5 was played and now knight from g to e7 we are now in move eight uh, so two more moves and you see what uh, lila c0 has prepared here uh, a3 uh, if you try queen on d3 then again this bishop on f5 idea this would be very very dangerous if you try queen on d2 or queen on d1 then d4 and basically it's game over so uh, that's why in this position a3 was played bishop on a5 and now comes queen on a4 uh, if you try queen on b7 again it's a bad move because we can play rook on b8 queen on a6 has to be played but now again this idea d4 and here if you take we can of course take knight takes on d4 if you take the bishop then we have the fork on the king and the rook so that's why king on uh, d1 would be a forced move but now it's not about taking this uh, rook immediately first bishop on f5 the discover check so bishop on d2 and now we can take and we can also bring our knight here on, on b3 and also attack this uh, bishop on d2 so that's why in the game queen on a4 was played and basically this is now immediately immediately lost game because here we have d4 and uh, there are now several choices uh, of course uh, here in the game a stiffly stride bishop on uh, g2 simply giving up the knight but if you take knight takes on d4 then we have bishop on b6 and uh, let's see now possible continuation if you try e3 then of course knight takes on d4 and your queen is hanging so you cannot take with the queen because the bishop is attacking so uh, you can also try knight from c to b5 but again it's a problem because again knight takes on d4 you cannot take with the knight again this very annoying uh, pin by the bishop so if you try uh, knight from d uh, pardon me let's go back here so after um in this particular line if you try bishop on b6 if knight from d to b5 then we have a6 uh, which is again uh, losing immediately because uh, if you try to retreat then of course we can take basically the best continuation but it's again it's losing knight takes on c7 and we can take simply another piece and it it would be game over if you try here queen on c4 to escape with the queen then of course you lose the knight and again it will be game over so in this position as i said after d4 uh, bishop on g2 was played and we are now uh, in move 11 uh, d takes c3 uh, lila c0 is the piece up and i would resign immediately in this position but the uh, went on the game was prolonged to over 40 moves but uh, here it was a really really bad position so now finally uh, stufli's castles we have bishop on um, b6 uh, getting the uh, bishop on the best square we have a rook on d1 and now castling we have a queen on b3 and now queen on c8 so you see um lila c0 place on the best squares with the pieces we have g6 really a desperate try because knight takes on g6 basically uh, here in this game stufli's was uh, without any counterplay at all uh, the bishop is still on the starting square this rook uh, is not playing so this um, lo losing piece is too much to handle so of course lila c0 will never uh, lose this game here queen on c3 was played and now rook on e8 simply continue to attack we have uh, b4 now f6 we have uh, b5 knight on a5 knight on uh, g5 again a really really weird move uh, lila c0 simply took f takes g5 and now the desperate checkmate try here uh, bishop on b2 but of course you have uh, rook on e7 rook on d3 and now bishop on uh, e6 rook from a to d1 and now queen on f8 with the preparation to play of course knight on f4 this is very very dangerous and we have also an attack against this f2 so this is sort of a position as i said in my last couple of videos uh, yeah, i would win this position even against gary kasparov or even against magnus carlson so with these two pieces up i don't think i would lose against anyone so here rook on f3 knight on f4 uh, here we have rook takes on f4 even so uh, 
e3 doesn't work because again we have the fork here on uh, e2 uh, that's why rook takes on f4 so you see again a sacrifice i'm not sure what's all about probably stufflis was thinking that uh, we're gonna take with the queen but again this rook is protecting this uh, g7 so it's not a problem here uh, g takes f4 was played bishop on d5 we have bishop on d5 rook takes on d5 and now queen on f7 this game is completely lost but the problem about this ccc is uh, that uh, the game is going on till checkmate so we, um, this end just are not resigning this games because this is really uh, something that you have to resign if to be if, if you want to be a fair player i think uh rook on g5 and now we have h6 kicking away the rook uh, we have uh, rook on g4 and now h5 again a rook on uh, g5 but now this rook comes into the game rook on d8 with the preparation of course to play rook on d1 queen on h3 we have bishop on d4 a simplification move simply trading off now as many pieces we can bishop takes on d4 rook takes on d4 and now b6 again a desperate try we have of course a takes b6 now queen on uh, c8 it's not a problem because we can cover with the rook rook on e8 queen on h3 and now very nice move f3 uh, trying to open the e-file and uh, really uh, compete with both of these rooks and creating some checkmate, rank, uh, checkmate threats here on the first rank. E takes f3, now comes this move, rook on e1, we have uh, king on g2, and now this rook comes into the game, we have queen on c8, but again, rook on e8, and here lila c0 is mocking a little bit with um, Stufli's place, a perpetual move, uh, here after queen on c8, again rook on e8, after queen on h3, now if lila c0 would have played again the same move it will be third uh, the, for the third time the same position and it will be a draw so that's why now c6 so you see i think that lila c0 was even mocking here with uh, with uh, stuflis here we have f4 but now uh, f5 uh, c5 rook takes on h5 queen on g6 now rook on g5 queen on c6 with the check we have f3 but now it's basically forced checkmate rook on e2 rook on g3 now comes this other rook rook on g1 king on h4 queen on h6 you have to cover but now queen on uh, f4 uh, queen on g4 and now and uh, this is now rook takes, rook takes on h2 and it's a checkmate Pool. so let's go back mm, i'm not sure what was going on with this engine stufflis here as i said this is move 10 after d4 the evaluation is really winning for black it's game over here in move 10 you lose a piece um, and I'm not sure what happened, but uh, this was really a great game uh, by Lila C0. You see, as I said, in this um, uh, uh, irregular openings, it's all about peace activity, peace activity, peace activity. And you see, uh, Lila C0 has developed all of these minor pieces. On the other hand, uh, Stuflis stayed in this position with both of these bishops on the f uh, on the starting square, and that's why got punished. And uh, this was maybe one of the shortest uh, uh, ccc games uh, that are decisive i think because i don't think that you can win this game with the minus three evaluation here against lila c0 okay uh, i hope you enjoyed the game uh, this was something else i wasn't prepared about this and uh, meanwhile you can watch my other commented chess games by computers and you can also watch my best chess games of time of all time if you want to see humans competing and their best chess games in history and you can also subscribe to my channel if you like this content thanks you for watching guys and lila is the best of course